Ufuga ende ni magato zenche kutuwe usportista yindi laga wenda gu. Outside of e-golf of course, kusima simbuwa nagma serious competitions, golf, kings, cup, simbuwa nila participate akon. Stambuwa kutu wenda ni day to day basis. So right now, system babane club, lapo kona aya utite stwe tibana kona, lapo avuga achimu. You know game as sportistas, they couldn't keep in time. So already, James is inside, already, so tali legu uchimu. We're going to get inside. Simbuga kuti ngabe wenda ine mpapane club utasisa hape mpaka logo. Of course, nunga kosha kuti kwenye lelo lako iko na peli challenge lapo kuna stawu wana kona kuti ngabe James nje ujali kaluva. Kona ndaka wati konge ma kipaps, kona ndaka wati konge pola in general. So we're going to get inside Smithana na James Simbuga kuti ngabe uspatele na mwoshi. Sampe. Ok, right now we're meeting James who's been already training. Here's the man, James Pennington, everyone. Morning. James, how's it, bro? Good, thanks, and you? Good, 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 good. good. Say hi to the viewers at home. Morning, Tom. everybody. Ah. Hello, guys. My name is James Pennington. I'm a soon-to-be professional golfer from Bourbon, Swaziland, and um, I'm 21 years old. Hopefully, you can um, join me on this journey today. Thank you. <laughs> so, James, we're here. We just want to find out your life outside uh, golf, outside your professional career. We just want to find out who's James. Mm -hmm. Can you start there? Who's James? Where is he from? Why um, golf? James Who's is James? born and raised in, in Bourbon. Mm -hmm. um, he's a guy who likes to work hard at what he does and okay. um, who enjoys a few things outside of golf, this being one of them. It's also good for, for golf to have a, a strong body because uh, okay. it prevents injuries and you're able to hit the ball um, further okay. and, and it, it's good for stretching so that you have flexibility. I, I was about to ask that because the last time, the few episodes that we've already done, we talked with some few guys who play golf. They say it's not in the power of, of your muscles or something. Mm -hmm. It's this tactic or the technique of how you hit the ball. Yes. But here you are training, trying to make that physique. Yes, how no, is that? it's definitely, it's, it's, a, it's not about the, the big muscles, the arms and the chest. It's about having strong um, back and okay. core and legs. And the legs are where you can hit the ball um, a good distance and, and keep your power so that you don't have any injuries. All right, we, we, we know you are a golf person. Where did the love of golf start? Um, it started at a young age. My grandfather took me out to the golf course when I was, when I was a young boy. Okay. And I slowly started getting into it. And then MTN hosted um, some junior clinics at Mbaban with Moses Shonga and Joe Duzo as the coaches. And that was every Tuesday and Thursday. Okay. And I went with that along with a few friends like MJ Zamini. Uh -huh. and our love grew and we started getting competitive and we started practicing more even after the, the clinics had finished at Mbaban and um, it just carried on. But golf was it the only sport ex you were exposed to or you had other options to pursue another sport? Um, no, no, I played a, many sports um, in primary school and going into high school. Um, soccer was actually my first love. Oh, I was okay. a striker and I played for, for nine years. Um, oh. That was my first love and I still enjoy to play once in a while. It, it is very interesting you mentioned soccer because at the end of the show there's a challenge where you have to juggle the ball to okay. pass. So if you did play soccer, I'm a bit worried, the ladies and gentlemen, um, because I might face some challenge here. No, I'm also a bit worried. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit rusty. Good for me then, if you're rusty, good for me. So right now, uh, Jeremy, we understand today we have to follow you around. Mm -hmm. Now you're gonna finish up your session. Mm -hmm. How long does it take? Um, it's usually I like to start in the morning, and it takes about one hour and twenty minutes. Um, it's good to, to build the muscle, to okay. to get some running in, to build some endurance, and it's a good way to start the day. It gives you a lot of energy, and it makes you feel good for the day. Do that, bro. We'll catch up with you soon, soon, soon. Perfect. Thank you. Sure, sure.
right now, Jamin has just finished uh, his morning sessions, uh, training Jamin in the morning. So right now we're going to find out, well, just in case you were going to spend our participate. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to see. I'm <laughs> saying, usually, usually I participate, but today, <laughs> no, no more thing, no more thing. So right now, Jamie, where are you taking us to, bro? Uh, we'll go to the house now. It's always important after, after training to eat the right foods. Otherwise, okay. your energy will be low. Okay. So if you eat the right foods now, then you can practice from now till, till the evening. So right now we're going to the house to have something to eat. Yes. And you're going to cook for us. I'm going to try to cook for you, yeah. Uh, hopefully you don't get stomach bumps, stomach cramps or something like that. But let's go and see what you can see. Jamie is going to eat and eat. He's 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 going to eat. When we get uh, to his house, let's go and see what he's doing. Uh, we had a nice time at the gym. Um, we, we went there quite early and, and it was quite hot, so um, we managed to, to finish everything before the heat came. Um, hopefully next time Patio can join me. Okay, right now we're at Jamie's place where he'll be cooking for us. Jamie. What are you cooking for us today? Um, today we'll just have some chicken breasts with okay. some green beans and some pup so that we can um, have a good healthy meal and then our bodies are filled to, to go and practice. Okay, if we are a sports person, what do you have to eat mm -hmm. uh, to complement whatever you do, the sports you do? We're from a training session right now uh, with Jim. Mm -hmm. The, the foot balance, how do you get that? Um, you need the protein because if you're training a lot, whether it's gymming or, or playing golf or whatever, your, you need, your muscles need to recover. So you can find that in meat and stuff like that, which is good for, for the body. And then um, if, you, if you're doing a lot of activity you, and you're outside mm -hmm. a lot, you need fruits and vegetables for vitamins. Okay. So, so if you can have that and then also something like potatoes or pop for the carbohydrates to give you energy and, and that's what's going to help you to practice for many hours in a day. All right, let's start cooking and while we cook, we still got to get to know you better, get sure. to know the spot better. Uh, Jim, yes. I understand you, you're playing golf internationally, you're not based in Swaziland. Yes. Tell us about that, where are you based? Um, um, I've been based in Joburg now, this is my, it's going to be my fourth year there. Okay. Um, I have a I have a coach then and I t and I was attending a school there that that you you both study and you play at the same time so that okay. that finished me that I finished now at the end of um, last year with my studies and now I'll be able to focus on golf. How has that been going for you? It's been going well. Um, the studies weren't too difficult, thankfully, okay. and and I managed <laughs> to to pass all the the requirements. Um, so I'm looking forward to being able to focus just on golf now. All right. Um, how do you, you still studying, right? I've just finished, I've just finished. How, how have you been balancing uh, studies, playing golf, trying to turn pro, because I understand mm -hmm. you'll be turning pro very soon? Yes, yeah. Um, it's been difficult. It's, you have to stay disciplined. If you're traveling to tournaments and stuff, you have to make sure you don't fall too far behind with your work. Yeah. So sometimes it helps if you just take your work with, and if you, in the evenings, if you have maybe one hour to spare or something, then you can just, um, quickly sort out whatever you need to do so that once you get back to school you haven't fallen too far behind mm -hmm. your work. Yeah. True. Now, okay, you, you're based in South Africa but you've been coming back home to play some tournaments. Yes. Yeah. The competition in the country and compared to South Africa, what can um, you say about that? The competition in Swaziland is very good. Um, I'd say the only difference is in, in South Africa, they have a lot more people, just because uh, the population's big and stuff like yeah, that. But yeah. in terms of the competition, the competition here is very strong, um, just like it is there. So, is it? So if you can, I think if you can do well here, you can do well there. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you've been doing well in Swaziland, so meaning you're doing well in South Africa? Um, yeah, it's, the, it's been a bit of an up and down year sometimes, or last year it was a bit, sometimes was very good and sometimes wasn't as good. Um, but, but overall it's been, it's been fun and it's, it's been a good learning experience. You're going pro? Yes, yeah. Tell us about that. Um, it's something that I've wanted to do since I was very, very small. Mm -hmm. And it's something that I'm looking forward to. So. As of about a week from now, two weeks from now, once I get back to Joburg and I can finalize all the paperwork, then, okay. then, then I'll be able to, to turn. But what does it take to turn pro? Um, it, takes a, it takes a lot of hard work and, and I think that 
Um, having having a good amateur career um, mm. definitely helps with your confidence, knowing that you're now ready to 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 turn professional and compete against the guys who who are the best at what they do. Um, it's their job, and and they get to work hard at it every day. So. If, if you have that confidence and you've worked hard enough in the past, then I believe that, that you'll be ready. And to get turning pro will mean you have to, you'll only have to play golf. Yes. Strictly golf. Strictly golf. Which is a professional career. Mm -hmm. Challenges of doing that while you're in Switzerland, uh, golf, golf in Switzerland is not that much, uh, what, can, what can I say? It's not at that, that level where you can say you depend on it fully. Yeah, sure. What are the plans? What are the challenges? Um, the, um, the plans are to, there's obviously a lot more tournaments in South Africa. Yeah. So definitely I'll be able to come back here and play when there are tournaments. But being based in South Africa, I think will help in the sense that you'll have a lot more tournaments to play. Mm -hmm. um, so, so being there week in, week out, you can play. Whereas here there's tournaments every few months. So, so that's... And challenges-wise, it's, it's expensive to, you obviously have to travel, you, yeah. you have um, places, you have to stay in a hotel or a bed and breakfast or whatever, and you have to pay your entry fee and caddies mm -hmm. and all of that. So, so that's where the, the big challenge is, is finding sponsorship um, in the sense of, of people to help you with, with the expenses. You've participated in the last two Kings Golf in Switzerland, mm -hmm. Kings Golf Cup, and on both occasions you came second, right? Yes. Yeah. If you came second. Mm -hmm. You were playing against professionals yeah. and you came second. Were you already ready for to go to the professional ranks? Um, I think in a sense that maybe at Royal Swazi probably because you, I've, used I, to, I'm used to, to it. I, I know the course okay. so well and yeah. because I've been growing up there, I feel very comfortable um, okay. being there. And, and I felt like having that home ground advantage was a, was a, a, a big sort of advantage that I had over the guys that maybe had been there for the first time. So mm -hmm. I think around there I'll, I'll always um, be very comfortable and, and challenge. Mm -hmm. um, but it's about doing it week in, week out all over the world. You have to, you have to do it on courses you've never seen before and yeah. that's where the big challenge comes in. All right, let's continue quickly. Okay. Let's put these on. Let's put the As I prepared this food, in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. And of course, bless the stomach. That's just in case the food. <laughs> just, just in case. <laughs> When you turn pro, you'll, you'll, uh, you'll be relocating for it, uh, South Africa. Uh, yeah, I'll do basically what I've I've done for now. So I'll, I'll still um, come back and play the tournaments and come back just to visit and stuff. But most of the time, I'll be based there. Well, what are your plans for this year? Uh, well, you're turning pro, yes. Mm -hmm. But then the ambitions. Um, I'd like to just get good experience on 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 the tour and. Um, hopefully make a, a little bit of money to support myself and, and be able to open up doors to to travel further mm. and then um, just get, gain good experience that I can use going forward um, and, and, and learn from. Looking at international competitions like European competitions? Mm -hmm. um, probably not in, in this year, being it the first year, you, I think you've got to get good experience before you can um, yeah, so venture that far. Mm -hmm. um, it's also very expensive to go there, so maybe after a while, once you've built up a little bit of um, capital, then then you can look to to further your craft. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're done eating <coughs> the chicken. 
Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I won't say much about the chicken that I've already, I haven't said already, but we're just going to take a look at uh, Jamie's trophies since he started uh, playing golf. He's going to tell us right now about these trophies. Mm -hmm. They look big, they look, they are many. Tell us about the trophies and pick one that outstanding for you. Okay. Um, there's a few here. The, the top ones you'll see, these are our, the school that I attended in Johannesburg um, ran a, ran a, a year-long tournament where they give you points based on your weekly performance. Okay. And um, I managed to win that in the first and second year. Those are the top ones. Those are the top ones. And you'll okay. see that one's from 2015, 2016, and then that one last year. And, and that was a, a great um, privilege to be able to win it three years in a row from, so from you, the time I got there. You became the champion three years running? Yes, three years oh, running. Okay. Um, so so th those, those mean a lot because... Um, I managed to do it not only for one year, but for three consecutive yeah, years, which shows good, good consistency. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, then on the second, this is, I managed to finish second in a tournament in Congo um, in 2016 that I got oh. invited to. So that was the Congolese um, championship, stroke play championship. And, and I managed to finish second in that, which was um, a great experience to travel to a country that I'd never been to. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, the one next to it was from the Region 5 Zone 6 last year, whereby we were playing for Swaziland and before the team competition started, there was a, a stroke play tournament. Um, and and that, that tournament means a lot and that trophy because I managed to beat South Africa's number one ranked player um, in a playoff to, to win that tournament. Is it? Um, so, so that was a great honor and that's, a, that's a, a nice trophy to always look at. So pick one, the <coughs> best of the top them all. The best... Hmm, it's difficult. They all they all mean um, a lot. But can we just can we just say, of all these trophies, they are still missing the Ingwenyam, the King's Golf Cup. Yeah, yeah. No, that that one definitely we'll try put on it in the near future. <laughs> we'll try find some space for it. Um, but but the Swaziland Amateur Open tournament of last year. Um, yeah, it's not the the biggest trophy, but it was the first time I'd won. I'd won all the other tournaments around Swaziland, okay. and and I'd come second the last two years before that. So it was nice to to have a uh, a good final day and to to be able to put that trophy here. Quite impressive indeed. So right now we've seen uh, Jamie's trophies. He cooked for us, but all these trophies are for golf. So we're just going to go to the nearest golf course in Babane Club and see. Does he deserve the, all the awards or I can take him on? I must tell you, I've, well, the last two guys we did on the episode, they play golf, so they gave me some tip nyana, so. So, so you ready? Brace yourself. Let's go and see what they can do. Just seen a Jamie. I practice a Kalu Vela, Namang Samir and Amsla. I'm not going to get Namsla because usually I'm better than this. But probably it's because Jamie is not a very good teacher. <laughs> I'm going to blame it on him because I can't be bad. I think he's a bit of a slow learner. So right now we're going to go and do a Marky Pups, the challenge. So you know your Sports Star Challenge. Lava Kona. Right now, Jody is leading, following by Taribo and Touch. Well, I mean, I'm the champs of champs. So we're going to see what uh, Jamie got. He said he played soccer for nine years. Long time ago. Long time, but he did play soccer, so he's a, 
he knows they knows how and how is you know so we're gonna just go and see what he now we're gonna go and see what he's gonna do but i'm gonna be slow to i'm gonna be sad anyway so <laughs> let's go and see what he what he's gonna do i'm gonna prove each other okay let me i tell you what let's make a challenge okay you do it the soccer ball i do it the golf club like this you expect a pro to be doing this. I'm not pro at soccer. I'm not pro with golf. So no, 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 no. I can't agree to that. <laughs> and then you did with the soccer ball, and we see who is longer. Who is the soccer ball? I should be doing this right now. <laughs> okay, bring it on. I'm good. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, right now we're gonna do the keep up challenge. <laughs> we're gonna do the keep up challenge. Jamie's going to go first because he's the challenger. And you got only three chances. Three chances. We take the best score. Okay. You go first. Okay. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. No warm up. No warm up. No, 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 no. no. Eight. <laughs> 18. 18. You I'll, take that, I'll take that, I'll take that. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Oh, okay. Went better than I thought. Um, I managed to get, I think, double what he got. So, so I, I'm quite happy with that. Okay. No, 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 no. It's because of the trouser. <laughs> last week. What was it last week? That's because of the shoes, probably. And the ball is a little bit hard. <laughs> no wonder Jamie did. We did what nine? Eighteen. <laughs> and I did thirteen or so. Five. But no, no, no. Like <laughs> can't be five. So, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. James Pennington, the golfer, who just... And hmm. the keep it up challenge champion. No, 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 you're not the champ. You know the champ, it's Jody Shiva who did 91. Huh. And he did 18, what? That's more than you. <laughs> <laughs> but my, my highest is what? It's 41. That's 41. Not no, not I think with a bit of practice, I could no. choose. No, 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 no. The, the problem with me is probably the trouser today. Oh, probably. I'm better than this. I'm better than this. So ladies and gentlemen, We've seen uh, Jamie's day, how it goes about when he's not playing golf, when he's not participating in any of the tournaments like I uh, participate to outside the country and in the country. And he, just, he told us he's going pro. So from what you saw, la, that's going to come in your club. We are going to know why he's going pro. You, you, you can tell from his drive, even though I'm going to drive So, <laughs> so we, we've seen so when I explain to him, I know that I'm going to you have to work hard. You know, to make sure that you're long and sharp. My auto, you know, be successful. You forget to explain to him. I'm going to see him because apparently he's sweet and I'm going to see him. But I'm going to see him. Good. Then that's what we're going to do. We're going to see him. Then we're going to see him. And we're going to see him. Which apparently ha, is the only food he can cook. He's lying. He's talking rubbish. <laughs> It's the only thing he can cook. Only in cook. Oh well. Potatoes, which is the same as boiling eggs. You can't say you cooked eggs. <laughs> you say so. So ladies and gentlemen. Langala chimin hambaganjan. Fugaksana chime. we'll have breakfast because she does come to a ganjan good la good and look fanele. Mouse and a laser spot chime ulja good la look fanel. Uma changes no maganjan have all that you you have to have mafuna kusitakala kulesho sports lo sendako sabo ya sadlali kalofa naye sabo ya sazama ema keep ups le ngasho ukuthi i did 18 i did what 16 14 9 5 but probably because well said bona tiza to tonke ti yaqaqa ngiyim angathi kuthi aqaqa ngani ngiva justify athi indzaba ikalofa but jemi thank you so much thank for you. having us thank you for having you. me Hope, hopefully you're going to catch up there Definitely. in the future and for sure Hopefully. Thank you very much. Hopefully you're gonna have a very successful career. Thank you, I appreciate it. It's been a pleasure. Thanks, my Show Chapter. It's been a fun day. I hope um, all of you guys have enjoyed it. Um, today's been a typical 
day in what in what we do as 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 golfers to try and get better. Um, we we practice quite hard, but we also enjoy what we do. So so it's been a fun day, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as I have. That's a wrap for today's show. See you.